As I spend time building products, the more I realize that there is something broken. We measure engagement, clicks, views, comments, which are important, but we forget about the invisible parts, how people actually feel after using the things we build. I didn't start out in human-computer interaction. I studied mechanical engineering. As a child, I liked building things, things that moved, using cardboard, gears, motors, physical stuff, things you could feel. I got to university and I started building virtual reality experiences, which led me to the world of HCI. I had walked through a door I didn't even know existed, and this helped me discover something that radically changed the way I think how we design technology. We're surrounded by tools we barely notice anymore. They became the new normal. Our phones, our laptops, for the most part, they work. But when did they become so loud? Always calling for our attention. It forces us to compare ourselves to others, overload us with information, notifications, things happening here and there, bright colors, ads, discounts, buy it now. It's honestly just too much. It is stressful. There is something not quite right about our interfaces today. So I keep asking myself, is there a world where the interface sort of melts away? Where we get the help and productivity of computing without the stress and burnout? Computers used to take entire rooms. Programming meant flipping switches, punching holes in cards, moving your whole body to get the machine to do something. Then command lines came, then graphical user interfaces, then touch screens, the internet, and now we talk to them. Or basically type a prompt into a blinking box and expect it to understand us. It's impressive, but we need to remember that along the way we lost something too. We have gotten so good at removing friction that sometimes we remove the meaning, the intention. Scrolling one hour on your phone is too easy, but shaping clay sketching, playing an instrument, the tension, the pauses, the collaboration between you and the instrument. That's what makes those experiences feel alive. For example, physical chess. It has texture, weight, presence. Online chess? Convenient, sure, but it's flatter. You miss a lot of the experience, the weight of the pieces, the shape. You can tell which piece is which by only holding it in your hand. You also miss the baffled face of your opponent as you pick up the queen and move it across the board for a checkmate. It feels as if we've made painting feel like typing, when maybe we should have made typing feel more like painting. I started this channel because I wanted to share these questions out loud, to explore them through projects, builds, prototypes, and hoping that they will inspire someone else too. To make sense of how we shape our tools and how they shape us. When I joined the HCI field, I expected to meet people who deeply care about technology. And to my surprise, I actually met so many people who deeply cared about people. People who design not only for the speed and efficiency, but for dignity, for the light, for the quiet moments of meaning. And that gives me hope. 
How do we make computing usable by so many different people? For me, for you, for those who need to get things done, for those who want to relax, or for those who just want to express themselves. Those thoughts or questions are, for the most part, not my own. I am standing on top of the work of those who came before me, and I continue to learn and let myself be amazed by it. They spend countless hours understanding the best ways for humanity to interact with computing. They developed a lot of the interfaces we have today, and many others that were not ready for their time. They believe the best technologies aren't loud or flashy, they are quiet, invisible, they blend into the background so we can focus on being human. They called it ubiquitous computing. Technology should help you do something else. The best technology is the quiet one, an invisible servant. Technology should extend your intuition. And above all, technology should create calm. There's more information in a walk among trees than in any computer system. But we don't fear that overload, we welcome it. Because nature moves at a human pace. So I'm thinking maybe can technology move in that pace too? Just imagine for a second a camera that adjusts the settings just for you or a notepad that gives you the notes you need at the time you need it, a thermostat that just knows how you like the temperature in the room, or a map that whispers the directions so you can enjoy the view. That's the kind of design I want to explore. I am still figuring things out, but if you're someone who builds or someone who just wonders what else is possible, I hope you will stick around, not to this channel, but to just make it to wondering. And I hope you make technology that listens, that respects, that brings calmness, and all of that while staying human in the process.